In this video, we will look at post-processing of the composite chassis in ANSYS Mechanical, and define parameters for further design optimization. Go to the Solution tab, and insert Composite Failure tool. Due to the orthotropic material behavior, multiple failure criteria are available to predict different failure modes. In this case, select the maximum stress and strain criteria. There are numbers inherited in these models, if they go above a certain magnitude of loading, the material will experience failure. Evaluate all results. The maximum inverse reserve factor is greater than 1, therefore there would be failure of the material under this type of loading. Switch the show critical layer, to yes. The critical failure mode shows the type of failure, occurring in a certain area. At the maximum location, the S stands for maximum stress mode, 2 is the principal 2 direction, and C stands for compression. Therefore, there is compressive failure in that area, as the loading is being applied through a concentrated patch. Using parameters in ANSYS Workbench, allows to conduct design studies for optimization during product development. In this case, we will analyze the influence of number of plies, and core thickness on the equivalent stress. The current maximum equivalent stress is 238 MPa. Go to the Results tab, and click on the box before maximum. The P symbol, indicates that the maximum stress value has been defined as a parameter. Close the mechanical window. Open the ACP pre-system. Go to the Parameters option, and create a new parameter core. For the object select core from the Materials Data tab. Change the property to Thickness, and click on Apply. Create another parameter for the number of ply layers on the bottom mold. Close the ACP Pre window. Open the Parameter Set tab. The input and output parameters, are present within the Parameters Overview window. Input values to be analyzed for the core thickness, and the number of ply layers in the table of design points. Update all the design points. The solver computes the maximum stress value, based on the defined parameters. Therefore, using parameters in ANSYS Workbench different entities within the model can be efficiently evaluated to optimize the design. A key performance indicator of a race car chassis, is the torsional stiffness. Insert a new coordinate system. Change the type to cylindrical, and define by to global coordinate system. Enter the Y and Z coordinates, which creates a coordinate system at the center of both the wheel hubs. Go to the Solutions tab, and insert directional deformation. Change the orientation to Y-axis, and coordinate system to the new created system. 
Solve the model. The maximum Y displacement of the chassis with the applied load is 0.33 mm. The value can be put in the torsional stiffness formula, to calculate the stiffness. In this case, the stiffness is 8.4 kN per radians, which is lower than most high-performance cars. To optimize this chassis design, further parameters like materials, number of plies, or geometry can be analyzed. Thanks for watching.